Hey guys, it's KGalvids, and today I'll be showing you how to make a cool YouTube icon. So what we're gonna do is go to Photoshop, make a new, make a new document, and uh, make it 500 by 500 pixels. Leave it at 72 resolutions, cause uh, this will be a pretty good size for your icon. So press OK. Um. Okay. Um. Go to your Go to the paint bucket tool, which is basically G, and then uh, make your layer, well, it says layer 1, but on your screen it'll say background. So I'll just rename this to background. It shouldn't be a layer, it should just be a background, and paint the background black. So make a new layer, and then what we're going to do is add a text. So, so, um... Let's see, I'll type in test. Uh, make it whatever color you want. For this tutorial, I will be making it white. Use a blocky text so that when we're doing the cool YouTube icon effect, it'll look, it'll stand out at the end. So I'll use Ares Bold ITC. Got this, put it in the center. Uh, all right, so basically what we're gonna do is go to double click test <coughs> or your text double click your text and we're gonna add a drop shadow um, drop shadow make it to color burn and uh, let's make it to distance as two right now you can't see it because we did not put a color on it yet so let's go to stroke uh, with the stroke, uh, make it a gradient. And depending on what colors you want, I'm going to make it a kind of like a blue. So let's see. Make it a dark blue and a light blue. This will give your text cool effect because it'll look it'll look as if it has 3d value to it uh, so I'll just make it a little darker as you can see my test my text looks pretty cool right now so blend mode let's play around with this I'm just gonna try and more no that doesn't work uh, keep it to screen that's good <coughs> Uh, if you want to have a gradient on top of it, you could do gradient overlay. I'll, I'll just try it for now. So, choose the colors that you want. I'm going to do blue again, because my outline is also blue. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I'll make it black and white. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm saying. Just, I'm just going to keep it like this, and maybe nope I'll leave the angle as added it at is at right now <clears throat> yes so press ok so now you have these effects on your text uh, this is only for your text so we're gonna work on the background a little bit now what you wanna do is create a new layer and then with your layer uh, you're gonna go to blending options basically just double click it and there was something that I saw it allowed your brush to be uh, different because if you're if you're using your brush on a layer and you have layers layer effects on it your brush will uh, correspond to the layer effects so for this uh, I think I'll use a cover color overlay no mm. Yeah, cover color overlay. Gonna make the blend mode to color burn. And choose a color that you want. So I'll choose this type of blue. Alright, now we're gonna go to press B for a brush. And make sure your hardness is at zero. So I will choose a star. The hardness is already at zero. But as you can see, it's only working on my text right now so 
Uh, I'm gonna drag it down so it's below my text and then I'm gonna change the color I'll change it to white Yeah, so that's what it looks like right now. But if you do it on your text layer, you have to rasterize it, and then it'll show. It'll basically show uh, the colors on your text. So on my text, I have uh, gradient on blue. So whenever I paint my stars, it's blue, uh, light blue on top, and then I go down, and it kind of looks like what my test looks like. <laughs> So if you're using an icon, uh, just find some brushes on Google or on the internet or something because right now I have no brushes loaded. Uh, but basically, if you're painting like, you know, you want to use a brush or something for your text, that looks pretty cool right there. So it looks like I have some leaves in the corner. And uh, for my background, I used a different brush uh, on my other computer. So right now I can't really show you... Um, what what brush it is right now so for this tutorial I'll be using the leaf brush so if I just you know use my leaves a little bit maybe some down here it looks kinda cool oh that one was weird uh, anyway you guys can play around with these effects so I'll delete this layer because I messed up I'm sorry so let's go over what we need to do you're gonna have to first make a uh, on your background layer paint it black or whatever color you you want and then make a text layer and on the text layer with text effects after you're done typing in your text and putting in the drop shadow gradient and stroke uh, you will rasterize layer <clears throat> you'll rasterize layer and choose a brush so whenever you're choosing a brush or something and you're painting over your text layer it will uh, it will have the layer effect to it so anyways guys this is how you make a pretty cool YouTube icon this is not what I recommend you do by painting leaves all over your background or your icon but I'm just showing you uh, a cool little tip that you could use so whenever you want you don't want to use a tutorial or something you just want to play around with the brushes Th this is a great way to use brushes to make a great uh, YouTube icon so <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed this Remember to <clears throat> like this like this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe even favorite it. Yeah, give me some feedback how I did on this tutorial and if you need help. So if you need anything, just message me. See you guys. Thanks for watching.